I think the most important part of common interests that you and I have is the fact that we pray together and we have Bible together every morning. Uh, during the course of the day, we have a kind of a tacit agreement that when something starts going pear-shaped, we'll stop and pray over it. Um, like Smith, Smith Wigglesworth used to say, I don't pray big long prayers, but I might do 30 or 40 little prayers yeah. every day. Well, we're kind of like that. But we're not shy in coming forward with that. And But it didn't huh? always start that way. When we were first together, we never did it. No. And it was something that, that we actually had to learn to do. Mm -hmm. And we had to be intentional about it and make it something. We disciplined ourselves to do it. Bow in the right! Quick! I remember very well uh, when I was about, well, we were married maybe a year or two, and I felt God just prompting me to uh, do Bible with my wife every day um, and pray with her. Now, I felt awkward. I, I felt embarrassed. I, I didn't really know how to do it and or anything. And sometimes we used to use it as a stick. Oh, yeah. You used with. to get, to get into arguments. Yeah, you see, the Bible says you're supposed to do the, you know, we... We went and I'm that. praying to I'm praying to the Lord, and then I come out with come out with all sorts of nonsense <laughs> because I I wanted to get my point across and dig into him. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So then we, we did go through a space where where yeah. it was used as a stick to beat each other with. Yeah, no, but we no. we did get past that. In in counseling people and couples especially, this is the one point that I get more resistance on than anything else, oh. is that there should be an open Bible in your home as a couple and prayer active daily oh. in the couple. Mm. And you know, nine times out of ten, when I see a, a marriage or a couple relationship failing, that's, that's at the root. There's the root of it, because when you constantly pray with each other and for each other daily, there are all kinds of things that start getting worked out behind the scenes. When, when you pray together, it brings out a commonality which mm -hmm. you will not get if you pray individually. Common interests, absolutely. It's really important. You know, you don't have to have everything in common. No. But if you pray together... I will know what's on his heart, and he's going to know what's yeah, on my heart. Yeah, you see, that's heart. a point of connection, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. important, that. Now, myself, personally, how I resolve the idea that God told me to take spiritual accountability in our marriage is I, every night, I still do this 35 years later, I'll pray over what I, I would like, you know, God to speak into our hearts. I don't always get it right. You know, I'm not super spiritual or anything. But Lord, what's a word for tomorrow? Mm. And every morning I have a new verse. I usually don't go beyond four verses. Uh, mm. I keep it short uh, and and um, focused thematically. And then we'll just pray over it. And you'd be astonished how much discussion you and I have every yeah. morning. Uh just on the word. And it's not heavy going. It's not uh, strange or anything. No, not at all. But it is a point of connection. That is our strongest point. Yeah, I think it's, and it, that, if, if you have nothing else in common, make that the yeah, thing in common. Because if you have that in common, God opens up all kinds of yeah. other things that yeah. you didn't even know you had in common. Exactly. And then things start getting really interesting. For Judy and myself, that is the most important element in a marriage, how you daily, intentionally pray and read the Bible together. Next week, Meg and Eric tell us about how maybe being very different from one another is not a bad thing. God bless and bye for now.